must gird ourselves. What's up, VOD people? We're back with Cage 3 Kyrie mode. Um, we recently, yesterday actually, uh, come on, fellas. We did the, uh, the Phil and the, almost the Pegasus Cup. Wait, no, we did. Yeah, we beat the Pegasus Cup. Uh, Leon and Yuffie substituted for, uh, Marluxia and Larxene. Um, I attempted the Hercules Cup, not quite strong enough to do it yet, so we might just progress with the story and, uh, come back when we're more able to take on that substantial of a challenge. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with the Kyrie mod and the Coliseum. Um, I guess we should go back and finish Toy Box because we sort of just, uh, left that hanging. Um, I believe we're... Where are we in the store? We beat Angelic Amber, so... What is next? What's, like, the next plot point? I don't remember. I'm trying to figure that out so I can pick a good place to land. Uh, I think we're supposed to be... going to one of the stores. Babies and Tall... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the UFO. Okay. So this is probably closest. Thank you. Um... This is probably going to be a bit of a chiller, low-key stream, because, um, you know, we've played KH3 several times, and while it is interesting to do it as Kyrie, it's not like I have a ton of new observations, so it's kind of a fuck-around stream. And, uh, I'm down for one of those. It's been a minute since we just sort of chilled and didn't really, uh, you know, go ham on the game. Although, ham is here in the toy box, so we'll be going ham one way or another. Ooh, I love the strawberry flan. I kind of have the urge to play it. Yep. What's up, Keynote? Um. Oh look, Kyrie's actually sitting in a little cup. Cute. I just assumed it would revert back to Sora, so that's fun. Um. Oh fuck me. I don't need to do this, but it's calling to me. I don't know if I rank this as my favorite flan, but it's it's top half. Cat, cat, cat! <laughs> yeah, Kiwi would have loved this. I say would have as if he's dead. He's not. Although he did find out I was moving through my YouTube post, <laughs> which I didn't feel great about. But I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you that in a more, you know, uh, more pointed conversation than you seeing my YouTube poll or I'm talking about my fundraiser, but, you know, we're not great at communicating. Uh, the plan is July 19th for the Finny fundraiser. Am I getting points? There we go. Um, oh wait, I have to be in the center now because the ceiling's too low. Um, yeah, July 19th, probably going into the 20th if I, I don't know, I think I want to stream, like, late into the night, you know? Um, but... I think I'll mostly be playing... I think it'd be fun to play Cage 2, um, which I know I don't say often, but that's, uh, of the three main games, the one I've played the least recently, and I don't have any trophies for it on Steam yet, so that'll be, like, the venue for just, like, the hanging out, but then we'll gradually unlock stuff and switch gears. I'm not going to do, like, everything we unlock on the actual fundraiser day, but I would like to, you know, switch over to do some of those things. Like, I think it'd be fun to stop down and do, like, the Drag Race Simulator or something like that during the fundraiser itself. Bum, 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 bum. Which might... I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think I would get bored of just playing Cage 2 for six plus hours, so... Um... I've been thinking about doing something like that. Like a mishmash. Like, I'm not gonna... Like, I think one of the rewards is going to be, um, like, playing Smash Bros. with the chat, which I haven't done since, since uh, Sora got released. Um, or playing Mario Kart, which I've never done with the chat. Um, but I'm not going to do that during the fundraiser. I feel like that's a little too, like, um, like, the genre shifts too much. So, but yeah, I'd love to do, like, a Smash Bros. lobby. Um, where the fuck is the UFO? Is that up here? Yeah. And here I'll get Thunder, which hopefully won't lock me into ultimate Kyrie mode like Fire does. <clears throat> uh, I lost on stream when I when Sora was released. It was only the one time. My name's not Sora. 
Um, I did beat most people who challenged me, though. So, and I'm not gonna lock into playing Sora. I'll be playing Zero Suit Samus. So, you want to practice now? Go fight some ZSSs. No oh, wait, you can't air step to this. What a rip! I don't own CTR. If anyone wants to send it to me, uh, <laughs> Barnabas, you got you got my address now. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I would like the game enough to buy it on my own. I mean, I would buy it just to race in the Spyro course. Is there uh Yeah, please do. Please do. <laughs> um, hardworking Coruno, thank you for the follow. Oh, you know what? I never really realized there was a trampoline there. You learn something new every day. Please work. Please work. Ooh, what would I what toy would I pick out of this area? Maybe like one of these little Little car guys. I never had something like that as a kid. I was always jealous of the kids who had those. Like, I had a tricycle, but... Some of these kids had, like, fucking... Battery-powered little cars. Ugh. Jealous of Nick right now. No need. I'm goaded. Dr. Kyrie's here. Die. Idiot. Boom. Um. Oh. I mean, even still, a Flintstone-powered one, that'd be pretty cool. Just the uh, the aesthetic of a car, but the effort of a bike. <laughs> you know, that's really what those are. Um, do you get any Kyrie in this? We are back. <laughs> she does not care. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna kill these fucks. <laughs> I am floating! The Chamber of Andy. Chamber of Andy. <laughs> Kyrie's lifting it right. with force powers. This is where we <laughs> she sets him down. We've been in this toy store long Kyrie's long. not gonna give Buzz the attention it's he craves. Please don't turn around. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's not somewhere in this world with us. God, I really hope they come back to this this angle with the the split toy box thing because how bizarre! It's the only game in the or rather the only world in this game that does something like that, or it's like yeah, there's two copies of this world. Like, and I get that it's like part of the like young Xehanort meddling for their current plan, but it's just, I mean, with the Virum Rex angle, there's probably some tie in there, but it's just so weird. I feel like that's a good indicator that we might see Toy Story show up again in, in 4, because they really don't resolve this. Um, you don't think they'll come back to it? The credits? Uh, I guess I forgot about the credits, yeah. But you don't see the other... Do you see their toys in the credits? Like, do you see Jesse and all them? Or, like, what happens? I don't really remember. I'm just taking Barnabas' word for it. I, I could not tell you what happens in the little credit vignette for Toy Box. Um, oh, the doorknob turning. Well, what if it's young Xehanort again? <laughs> what if it's him coming back to bully the toys? Somehow, Andy returned. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> I always forget what you're doing at this part. Oh, right. Because, yeah, this world is laid out just, like, progress-wise. so stupid. Back to the bottom of the toy store, and then back to the top of it. Kyrie. Really? That's, like, it's just so weird. Why? <laughs> Why would they do that? Um, don't you think there's potential there, though? If they did want to? I suspect they just came up with this plot as an excuse to not have Andy. Yeah. I don't know. I I would usually be inclined to agree. I'm working on a problem. What problem? I know. I'm pissed about it, too. Um, damn, I should have watched to see if Kyrie did anything fun there. Um... I don't know. I would normally be inclined to agree that, like, they just used it as a device to only have to use some of the characters. But, like, the fact that this is where we get the Verum Rex shit... Where the fuck... Can you get up there, Kyrie? Whatever. Um... And there's, like, such... There's such potential for cohesion with that, considering Verum Rex is, like, unreality and... Like, a split world line thing. What the fuck is... Is Kyrie just not... Is she able to do this, what I'm looking for her to do? Like, I feel like Sora can... This is not... I know... Women's History Month, etc. But... Like, when Sora jumps up to one of these, I have much less trouble 
situating myself after. There we go. Okay, I just suck. Um, anyway. Potato and Slinky are licensed toys that they probably would have had to pay to use. Um, yeah, I guess. But it's just weird, like... It's just, it also happens to be the same world where we get, we first get a glimpse of Yazora. And I guess, like, where else would you put him if you wanted him to be in the game prior to the very end? But, I don't know. Um, Rex, what are you doing? Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Run right through her again. See, Sora? Well, I I hate video games. Kind of match. Huh? I don't think the clothes do match. You don't like the Azora pose? It's kind of like a what do you know? man spread, but more so with the arms. Figures. You know? See? It is very man spready. Yeah. They're toys, just like Which, like. That's fine if there's no one else around, you know? Well, Don't manspread on a train. But if you're on your own box art, let everything breathe, you know? <laughs> God, there's a draft in the toy store. <laughs> I can't get over that. It's just one part of Kyrie's skirt is constantly flowing in the wind. Alright. Oh no! I hate this part. Oh, it's just such a bummer. <laughs> I just have no joy in this part at all. Haven't you heard? In this all right. Um, don't worry. There's still potential for that way later on down the road. Ba -ba -da. Oh, how I wish I could just press a button and this is over. Actually, that's what the KH3 rando does. It just lasts such a long time. Um, oh, thank you. Still got twigs. Sorry, twigs. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Varum D's nuts in your mouth. Okay. Maybe we could workshop that one, PJ. Verum Rex these nuts in your mouth. There's something there. There's potential. But -na 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 -na. I say this every time we do this, but like this is not the Verum Rex that people want a full game of, is it? Do they want like the the adventures of Yazora and all of his buddies? Because if you want that, then play Final Fantasy, right? So, like, when people say that they want Verum Rex, what are they talking about? And that's a genuine question. If you're one of those people who's like, man, I hope they do a full Verum Rex game, do you mean this? <laughs> or do you mean Final Fantasy XV? Because then just there's plenty of those. You could, you could play that. There's also plenty of this. People don't know what they want. Yeah, they think they want Jungle Book. PJ and I have always commiserated on that. Die, you fuck. Wow, that did nothing. I love that you can just stand here and... just fucking take his lunch money. Where'd it go? I guess I can't, actually. I've seen it. I've seen it in the wild. I just want the characters to have a backstory. I'm fine with that. I agree. I don't think they need a full game to accomplish that. You know? But I see it in the comments, not in just my videos, but other videos. Um, a fun game with a shit plot, then a game with story that sucks ass to play. Um, trying to think how I feel about that. I guess with me, when it's Kingdom Hearts, I think I want the story <laughs> to be interesting before anything else. Which it usually is. Um... That's why Recode is so low for me, because while it is maybe better to play than a Daze or a Dream Drop, I, I've i got nothing to chew on, you know? Um, 
Do people still really want a versus 13? I mean, that's just categorically not going to happen. Um, the music is a good touch, I'll say that. The music is keeping me sane here. Um, what is this, Shrine Dark Cloud remix? But Pat, it's Riku! They put bugs in him! I agree, and I and I love that soundbite. That's, that's a banger. That's in the Hall of Fame, but... I don't know, in terms of moving the plot along... Not getting a whole bunch. I know there's like the Roxas stuff at the end. It's just, it's gobbledygook to me. It's it's schlock. I'm sorry, but I guess that's that's my stance. Is when it comes to KH, I like there are plenty of games that are fun to play. This one has a story that really resonates with me and has characters that I really care about. Um, so even if I have to plod through some. Not great gameplay, which I guess is what Union Cross is, but it, it's also filled with characters that I don't care about. Um, I think the world... No, not the world of Union Cross, but like, the... I guess the lore of it, the backstory, the mythos. That's interesting. But not interesting enough to slog through metal combat, you know? So... All that to say... Oh, where am I going? I would... I guess prefer the game that's kind of shitty to play, but is super engrossing. Um, maybe that's weird, I don't know. Usually I wouldn't, usually I'd r rather the game be fun. Where is the guy? Where is he? <laughs> oh, there he is. Right? Why are you all the way over here, idiot? Stupid, dumb idiot, baby. Exploders. Please enjoy the siren. Um, yeah, obviously I'd prefer both. And I think in most cases, the games do that, you know? I find the gameplay of KH1... I think for 1 and 3, I would say I find the story and the gameplay equally as compelling, so... Please enjoy the siren. My street every fucking night at bedtime. I've thankfully, probably because I live out in the boonies, basically, but I've never had that, what seems to be a universal city life experience of having to try and sleep when there's a fucking blaring alarm going off. Thankfully, that has not happened. Yeah, I don't know about that, though, Chara. Like, I like days more than the, the average player, I would say. But... And I love the King K video that really talks about this, and I don't remember what his exact exact stance is on it. I'm sure I agree with it a lot to an extent, but so this is not to put words in his mouth. I just know that like his video popularized that idea. I just don't know like is that worth it as a developer? Like yeah, our game is really boring. That's the point. Like is that really what they wanted? And maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter. You know, author authorial intent doesn't always matter. It almost never does actually. But like, did they want people to? think it felt boring? You know? Oh, my game console, right. Um, have you heard of another crab's treasure? My brother texted me the other day saying it's all like Spyro, and I'd love it. I have not, but sounds like I might love it too, if it's... if your brother is to be believed. Um, I guess this is the console? This thing? Let's see. The Play Plus. Which, uh, it's giving, like... giving, like, PS4 and Dreamcast somehow. Let's see. I don't know. It's a weird little guy. Or... Is that yellow thing the disc? Is that a game? Surely not. The cases are smaller. Maybe the... Oh, you know what? It goes in there. That's where the disc goes. This big yellow circle. I think it used discs. It looks like it would go in there. Um, yeah, maybe they shouldn't be <laughs> making consoles. <laughs> Stick to the software for now. Thank you very much. Alright. Um, but yeah, what what is that, Fruitune? Is it like... Uh, is it out now? Like, is it playable? I would assume it is, if one would love it. Um, is it on Steam? Am I a crab collecting treasure? That's what it sounds like. I'm all about it. Did I get this one? I did. Um, another one? But I've... But I've been so bad. <laughs> I, I don't think I've been nearly good enough to get two things out of the store. What else? Well, I mean, at least let me buy... Not Verum Rex. Um, if I'm going to get the console, at least also let me get, uh, probably not, what is that, amazing, 
Amazing Jam 2001? So wait. Oh, I guess this is set in the mid to or early aughts, right? What's this? Wall Street Ninja 2? Um, that's probably my first pick. Tick Tick Party, kind of giving like Viva Pinata vibes. Um, it, it takes clear inspiration from Dark Souls. <laughs> it's allegedly a Souls-like cartoon crowd game with a very PS2 adventure feel to the storytelling and environment. Okay. It sounds like I'd probably like it. I mean, I've never played a Souls game. I mean, I played a tiny bit of Bloodborne, but not even enough to really have an opinion on it. Um, definitely not this boring-ass fucking racing game. Fun Farmer. That kind of looks like Harvest Moon ripoff bullshit. Um, oh, Cooking Mama, The Cute Chef, Delicious Theater. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go for Wall Street Ninja 2. That sounds fun. With my Play Plus. Um, does this technology of game consoles seem time appropriate if this is happening soon after Toy Story 2? Not really. It seems a little more advanced than I would think. Although, like, who knows, right? We're we're talking about. I mean, Toy Story 2 was 1999. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think consoles around then would really look that way. That felt much more modern inspired right the kid corral i'm just making no progress whatever ba -da, ba -da. lock i've talked about this with with uh, kiwi before there's like this mandela effect of was that scene always there <laughs> there's this idea that when the game originally came out woody did not point the window out and they added it in which it sounds crazy to me, but, like, I don't remember Woody pointing the window out. But I feel like I remember reading a lot of people having trouble with the window, like, finding the window. And that they added in that little scene where Woody says, hey, there's the window. But I don't think that's true. Um, I might be conflating it with something else. Yeah. Kyrie? You alright? Not true? Okay. Can you move yourself? Cactar time. Oh, I'm in it. Okay. Um, window scene's always there. Yeah, I, I thought so. But there's this thing in the back of my mind that was like, maybe it wasn't always there. Um, or they, like, added in a patch or something. But, yeah. Because I feel like I had trouble finding the window. The problem is that the cutscene earlier actually tells you to go to the wrong place. That, yeah, that probably conflates with what How I'm thinking. A dark corridor. Oh, did I already miss that? I think I did. Yeah, it's when... Damn it. It's when you leave Virum Rex. I love when Goofy says, A dark corridor. Great line reading. Put his whole goofacy into it. Um. Yeah, they make it seem like you're supposed to go to a different store. So... Um, I think it's weird to, to weird to me that Buzz is skeptical of Sora and Pal's stories about their crazy adventures, but Woody is like, but Buzz, remember when you thought you were a space ranger? And like, yeah, but Buzz found out that that was all fake memories? What's your point, Woody? Um, yeah, it's probably less about a one-for-one -one comparison and more like, just because someone's saying something that sounds kind of zany doesn't mean that they are invalid, you know? Like, hey, this sounds kind of nuts, but Buzz, you were saying some nuts stuff, and you still had the best of intentions, right? I think it's less so about the veracity and more so about the intent of the person spinning the tails, if that makes sense. Um, I'm willing to... I mean, you know, I'm not willing to give Buzz a pass on... Wait, by the way... Oh, I was going to say, is he dead? But he's in the Dark Corridor. I was like, where is he? Um, oh! I was not paying attention at all. He, he's a racist little toy man, but, you know, I, I, I get where Woody's coming from and trying to uh, reason with him. Um, God forbid anime characters be a little nuts, Buzz. <laughs> you gotta give them the pass on that. Um, it's always been there. Okay. All right, good. Now I can rest at night knowing that this was not like this secretly added little scene to nudge the gamers along. Uh, how far back does that... Really? <laughs> on, okay. That is... I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but... God, I thought it would have started me at the Gigas. Bow, bow. 
Well, don't die on that part. Um, yeah, no, I always do. I haven't slept well since 2019. In the Icelandic dub, they translated Space Ranger literally as Space Cop. He's a racist cop. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, the proof is in the Icelandic pudding, folks. Wall Street Ninja 1 or Wall Street Ninja 2? Do I really have to take my hands off the controller to run <laughs> run this poll? PJ, <laughs> Kino, and some... Oh! On these two fictional video games we don't know anything about. Kyrie styling on them. All Space Rangers are bad. Not all Space Rangers, Woody. Well, Buzz, if some Space Rangers are complicit in the crimes of others, then I'm not sure. Getting dicey here in the toy box. You don't know how to do a poll? What do I not pay you for? But, um, but, okay, how about this? Chat. If you prefer Wall Street Ninja 1, type the number 1. If you prefer Wall Street Ninja 2, type 2. And then we'll get we'll get it that way. I want to do a hands-free poll. We got to keep shit moving. 8, 2, 27. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it had to be binary options. 0 0.2. Wall Street Ninja 0 0.2. What do you think Wall Street Ninja is about? Like, is it about a ninja who kills, like, Wall Street people? Like, stockbrokers and shit? If you have no preference, uh, stop fence riding and pick a side. Two. Improves on every aspect of the original. Yeah, but, like, the world design in Wall Street Ninja 2... I don't know, it's just... Kinda lackluster. I'm, I don't really have many problems with the story, but... I feel like, you know, you kill someone on Wall Street, and then you just go, you, you jump right into killing the next person on Wall Street. And it's like, well, can we, can we, like, stop down a bit more often to, like, talk about our feelings on this scenario and, you know, get some scenes of consequence that aren't just killing people on Wall Street? Like, I want to know more about the ninja that we're playing as. Uh, it's about walling on her street till she ninja. Wow. I had no idea. What a, what a progressive game. Well... That's... I guess we have to vote... I'm, I'm voting for Wall Street Ninja 2, then. Count me in the two pile, I suppose. The big old pile of two. Yeah, thanks for... Thanks for enlightening me. Leg. Finally, some Final Fantasy presents. What were they thinking? Um, hey, good job, PJ. I'm proud of you. I'm going to give you the biggest not raise ever. Yo, I'm, I'm serious, though. Once I have, like, fuck you YouTube money, which I never will, but if I did, I'm paying the mods. I'm paying them at least min wage, you know? Oh, wait, I gotta go throughout the whole thing to kill these guys. It'll be... It'll be shift-based, though, when I pay the mods. It should... It'll be like... Well, if you show up, you'll get your, your hourly rate. Uh, you know... Ba, ba, ba. So if you feel like making a few bucks, you just hop in. You know, you don't even have to say anything. You just gotta be there and keep an eye on stuff. You just have a time card. You know? <laughs> Here's your $3 a month. It'd be better than nothing, right? It'd be nice if I could afford to, you know, to be willy-nilly. <clears throat> Pay the diamond holders who tirelessly say fucking dumb things in chat. Oh. Well, I mean, I can get that for free. I mean, I guess I get the mods for free, too. But the diamond holders are paying me, so it's like, uh... Wait a minute, this is like a scheme. This is a, this is a reverse money funnel. How about you guys pay each other, yeah. How about T-Mac and Nick can just hand each other a $20 bill back and forth through the mail? Um, where the fuck am I going? Up there. Bane-nee-nee-nee! Nope. 
Always have trouble navigating this playpen. There we go. Oh, die? Thanks. Idiot. Um, yeah, PJ's freelancing, and PJ's a good artist, so if you want some cool thing made... PJ, would you make someone uh, a Dive to the Heart platform, but it's of, like, Shrek? Would you do that? Are there are there lines that you won't cross? Uh, you guys ever think about who would be on your Dive to the Heart platform? Like, as a person? Probably boring stuff, like your family and loved ones, right? But... Maybe one of them's like, I don't know, Naruto. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not gonna judge. What? That's fair. Wait, even in terms of people online? What if it's only online people? It could be both. It could be it could be both, or you could have a separate platform for both fiction and reality. Um Yeah, charge for the lance. I don't know why you're you're giving that lance for free. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course, PJ! Uh, I don't know if Presto would be if he keeps fucking bailing on me like this. Getting closer! Um, come on. Yeah, I mean, how many spots do I get? I'm sure I'd be on the bottom like the evil queen on the Snow White platform. Uh, no, I'm talking about a traditional, like, original character platform where there's, like, at least four slots. It's four slots, right? Minimum of three? I gotta get out of this Gigas. There's one over here, right? Yeah. Um, most has five? Yeah, so like, I'm not gonna say right now who my five would be, but I think PJ makes the cut, yeah. In terms of internet people. <laughs> Why do someone get five? Yeah, like, what characters get five? I feel like... Maybe... I'm trying to think of who that would be. I'm not even sure. I feel like your Riku and... Yeah, Riku gets like three, doesn't he? Yeah. It's like it's like the new MySpace top eight. Which, why was it top eight? What a weird number to make it. Yeah, some people have just inanimate objects on their their platform circles. Oh, is that what it is? How big your head is? <laughs> That's true. If the dive to the heart takes place in the dream, I did have a dream where I called Scylla Blossom and Barnabas, so... They might be taking up two slots. Competition stuff. Do you prefer it when worlds have movie music as their level theme, or do you prefer it in altogether original song? Um, I think I prefer the movie song so long as they aren't a short loop like Disney Town. You know, <clears throat> um, do you hear that pant, that pat, sorry, <laughs> I thought you were like, I do what's artist? Do you hear that pat fan artist? If you fuckers do a dive to the heart for him, I'm on it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, in terms of the music, I don't have a preference. I think it's fun to get a little bit of both. Um, I think some movies just lend themselves more easily to a, a natural field theme. There's never been a battle theme that's been pulled from a movie, right? It's always field music. So, yeah, like, you're always, at minimum, going to get a unique track for the battle music, right? Besides, like, Symphony of... Oh, he's a pirate. Yeah, there you go. Um, but in that case, you got the original field theme. So it's never they never double up on you. Um, and in that case, like, okay, if we're going to have a song from pirates, yeah, the main theme being the battle theme, perfect, you know? Um, did this need to be You Got a Friend in Me? No, but... I think it works pretty well. Um, trying to think of another example. I mean, you kind of got both with Atlantica. You got well, you got both with Caribbean as well. You had Cage Two where they did it, and you had Cage Three where they didn't. And then Atlantica they had Under the Sea, and then they had Isn't It Lovely. Um, yeah, but I feel like for the vibe of Cage One Atlantica, like I think Isn't It Lovely is too sleepy. Um, I don't know. It could just be because I've, I grew up with Under the Sea playing in every fucking room in that world, but like, even though Under the Sea doesn't work great in like the ship graveyard, um, the sunken ship rather, um, I think it would work better than Isn't It Lovely? But 
Yeah, it, it has an adventurous quality to it. The dark corridor. All right, let's go kick the king of toys ass. We'll watch the scene too, because there might be some funnies. <clears throat> Uh, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Like this? Da 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 da. Da da da. Miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Just remember what your old pal said. You got a friend in me. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> I know nice warm beds in there. I know, I think what your old pal said is in there. Um, yeah, Randy Newman, not always the singer that I'm uh, most able to parse out what he's saying. I saw it like a threat. You've got a friend in me. <laughs> Just sort of snidely, not truly meaning it at all. Um, yeah, I think you can kind of just you know, free ball it on the lyrics. Oh, I skipped it! <laughs> Alright, let's get killed. I'm so conditioned to skipping. Let's get murdered. Well, Donald's gonna heal me before that can happen. You're right. Oh, there we go. We did almost get his ass in Thebes. But now we're gonna continue instead of uh, retry him. I want to see if Kyrie uh, walks in unison with Woody. Hashtag test post. Hashtag X organization. Hashtag Zexian6. What a dweeb. Am I right? Gosh. Get a load of this guy. Alright, don't skip it, Patty. Oh. The come on fellas showed up it in the like cutscene. Yep. Here goes. <laughs> well, at least she was walking instead of sliding in. Oh, that was the other mod that did that. Ba -ba 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 -da. Look at this. I thought you said clump. I really like clump as an insult. This fucking clump. Trump is good, but Clump is better. <clears throat> Say Nord, what do you want with my friend? Look, such Actually, does Sora even do anything like that physical in this scene? I feel like he doesn't. Away from the boy who cares about him most. But it's a good scene anyway, so. Does that mean we'll all be like Buzz? This is baby. <laughs> if we don't find Andy, wrong. Wrong. Distance doesn't matter. Dora. Andy's part of their hearts, <laughs> just like my friends are part of mine. <laughs> you can't rip that up. <laughs> Kyrie's a little too short. If you guys had to have a name always written on the bottom of your foot and it wasn't your own name, whose name would you pick? What? Your I'm not sure what I would do. Andy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Boom. It can't be part of your username either. It can't be anything that you go by. So many people would pick Jesus. That's a great point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ow, he grabbed my ear. <laughs> Cat's name. Yeah, I can see a pet. Um, yeah, that's right, Nick. That's right, Nick Ransbottom. It can't be your real name or your username. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. It would be so funny if Kyrie did not join him in stepping ahead. And, and love. love. Please let her not move. You just go and do that by yourself, <laughs> that's the true nature, to never ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah. Yeah. You can't keep us from Andy. You can't keep us from Andy. That's my least favorite Woody line. It sounds really bad. You can't keep us from Andy. 
It's like way too deep. So I find it very funny. Yeah, windows. you can't keep us from Mandy. It's great. Oh, I guess Kyrie might try and uh, hit Young Xehanort with her Keyblade. <laughs> Kyrie, you're not helping. That must have been great for all the Woody and Buzz shippers. That's the thing, right? It's gotta be. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't how know. about the laugh? Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. Like, come on, they love each other. A... They're boyfriends, I'm sorry, but it's true. <clears throat> you know what I don't like, though? I don't like Buzz's little chin swirl. Is that supposed to be hair? Like, what is that? Good is it a dimple? <laughs> she buzz on my Woody till I bo peep. Don't give up, guys. Let me just support you from the sidelines. Oh! So oh. Even <laughs> <be given strong. laughs> well. Oh my god, they were playmates. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to <clears throat> it's hair. Just one little no dumb chin hair. And that's I don't like that. Never understand because you are hollower than any toy. But now I know oh. heart can be placed <laughs> in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait. Find the hearts connect to yours. Find the hearts joined to yours. <laughs> well, he still phased through. All right, there. not Skyward Striker. No. Wait, wait, wait. Surely I can... No, you're kidding. No. No. Oh, I don't want to listen to it. No. Alright, I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay, Chinpunzel. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> That's, that felt like a slur. <laughs> like a derogatory. Alright, Chinpunzel. Hold your... Slow your roll. Hold your, hold your horses. Yeah, I'm gonna get killed again. <laughs> Please, Donald, no heelsies. No, I think you're. I think that was that was a villain intent there, Nick. That was clearly uh, there was hatred in your heart. All right, there, Chinpunzel. Not Skyward Striker. Please, please, let me get shot with the nerf thing. Come on, kill me. Do it now. Boom. All right. I know this is our third time heading into this fight. But I have to, I have to prepare and retry it, and I mean more so with concerns to the music. I can't be, uh, I can't be listening to this. I'm not gonna subject you all to it either. Come on. All right, I have a plan. Uh, the Soliera. Thank you for the follow. Um, here we go. Whew, okay. That's sorted out. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Let's listen to some real music. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes. Uh, here we go. Don't worry, guys. I saved the day. You're gonna be just fine. Patty's got you. Oh. That's two scenes, by the way. Um, what's up, Barnabas? Oh, wait. I have my own thing I wanted to play. Can I play this first? And then next fight? Well... <laughs> Can I have a tradition that we replace Skyward Striker specifically with Animal Crossing? <clears throat> yeah, it is unfortunately 7 p.m. where I am, but I'm playing 5 p.m. Oh no! 
All right, Blizzard kind of locked me into Kyrie mode. Yeah, 5 p.m. New Horizons, my favorite track from the game. Really fitting. Finally. Peace. Me doing a bold dance to this. <laughs> yeah. If I had to pick a song, this would be the one for me to pole dance to, for the record. <laughs> Let me be clear. Oh! Oh! I tried to be cool! I tried to be cool! Look where that got me. Ow! Um... Let's maybe use a little bit of a shot lock to heal. There we go. Alright, Goof. You ready? If you could just get over here. Got it like 0 0.2 seconds there. Oh! Well, that's not good. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was a complete fucking waste. Alright, let's, let's hear Barnabas's. What's Barnabas got for us? Oh, this will not last me the rest of the fight, unfortunately, but... Asterisk and Obelix, XXL. Okay, alright. You feeling it? You feel the blood pumping? Barnabas, this is very harsh on the ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it another 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, now we're getting something. There we go. Alright, I respect it. It had a, it had a real long build-up of screechy, violin-esque noises. Yeah, <laughs> now I can pop my ass to this. It's good, like, uh, Norman Bates, uh... Oh! Well. Anyone have any other suggestions? <laughs> Why does Nintendo 3DS music sound no so nostalgic? Does it? I didn't think so. That's in my recommends right now. Yeah, we're doing music requests. If you have a hundred bits, if you have a dollar to spare, that'll put you in the front of the line. Thank you, T-Mac. Let's see, what's this? Soldier toy? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm all about it. Oh no! Fuck! Here we go. <laughs> Is this gonna get me content struck though? I didn't think it would include the lyrics. Da -da -da. Yeah, this. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, this might mute the whole rest of this battle, but I really like the idea of that. Well, we'll just fight in silence for a, for a minute here. You can faintly hear Skyward Striker trying to work its way through. Bye, Buzz. Well, that worked. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you gotta be careful because we're all gonna be listening and judging. You know? It's a real cool kids club here. Barnabas. Alright, you got it. Thank you. And Nick. What have we here? Crank up your arse? Oh, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Courtney Gears battle. Okay. Crank up your arse. Oh, I see. This is pretty good. Gaming. 
Mm. If you could just be reachable, that'd be great. <clears throat> I am not. I'm open to it, though. I've never played any Ratchet and Clank games, period. I don't know why it's, it's such a blind spot for me. I like so many games similar to it. I don't know why I haven't played them yet. Oh, thanks, Donald, I think. Oh no, the DM. Get on a bouncy pet! You can do it, Kyrie. Ooh, yeah, Jack and Daxter. I played the first one by myself. Well, Ratchet and Clank is uh, Insomniac, isn't it? I mean, I love uh, Spyro, so... <laughs> uh, if not for this one, Nick, then for our next boss fight, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, that was a good track for King of Toys, though, I agree. Little alien sounding, you know? Uh, no. Uh, we'll fight, uh, we'll fight, um... What's next? The Chaos Carriage! And Corona. That's a boss fight, you know? And it's Rowdy Rumble, we've heard that a million times. We're probably good on that. Yeah, you can still do it. I mean, I can walk around in the field with the music requests. We've heard the Cage 3 soundtrack plenty of times, you know? Shout out to you, Inseparable Friends. Just got the trophy. Um, don't look at what mine is until it's time. Okay. You got it. Should I play it? I mean, I could play it now. I could play it on the gummy route. If you'd prefer it for combat. Okay. I'll save it for the carriage. Maybe? Um, maybe I'll throw it on for our, our transit to, uh, Corona. Alright, I'll do that. Whoop. Case 3 kind of spooky with no music, isn't it? Just kind of avoid. You've got a friend in me. Um, where was that? There it is. <gasps> Ape Escape 2! Monkey Hot Spring! Yeah! Okay. Great taste. Bang it out. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, so good. <laughs> I can see the monkeys butt flossing <laughs> in rhythm to this. That's what they're doing when you show up in this room. They're 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 wiping their their grundles with their towels in unison. It's so good. Yeah, read my fucking lips. <laughs> That's what they're doing. It's very charming. I think they're called uh, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. That's the names of the monkeys. <clears throat> yeah, that was terrifying, Barnabas. I'd be scared too. Oh yeah. Oh, and the vocals. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, when they do it, it's charming. Yeah, sorry. You just gotta be in the right headspace for it, you know? <clears throat> oh, I love Ape Escape. Unfortunately, I've already played Ape Escape 2 on stream. And 100 percent of it, so... I could always play 1 or 3, I suppose, but it's just, I love 2. One of those rare times where I love 2 more than 1 and 3. Thank you for that, Nick. That was beautiful. Oh. So blessed. Yeah, they did used to be fun, didn't they? Yeah, uh, Ape Escape 2. Probably not a very good playthrough. There were like 10 people there for the whole thing. Um, so I'm kind of just in the zone. I doubt I said anything funny or interesting, but... Um, oh, Barnabas! Wait, you should play... You should play before the storm first! There's no need to jump right into Life is Strange 2. Life is Strange? Life is Strange 2? Nice walk, Kyrie. Um, yeah, I would maybe just... Maybe play before the storm. It's pretty good. 
It sure is a pretty day. Life is strain. <laughs> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. <clears throat> Why do you think we came here? Hmm. Got me, Donald. That too, Barnabas. We'll figure that That's a short one, and uh, it ties into um, the second sure game. We were to this world for some do I hate Morgana anywhere near as much as Daniel, or is is he a different ballpark entirely? Morgana's probably number two, but it's a distant number two. At least Morgana gets his shit together. Daniel is just like a constant fucking tug of war. Ugh. No, yeah, I agree. It's probably not the game most meant for me. And I liked other aspects of it, I just didn't like Daniel. And that's fine. Um, it's my least favorite Life is Strange game, but it's not only because of Daniel. He's a decent, decent part of it, though. I guess I should put the music back on, huh? <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I could talk about this all day. I feel like I already did a couple streams ago. Um... Uh, it would be better, but not that much better, because good Daniel's kind of a weirdo as well. Um, <laughs> that's true, I have. I have gone on several rants why I dislike this fictional child. And I'll probably do it again, but I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little, uh, bit more measured today. Um... I don't... I wonder if I've ever watched the... I don't remember if I did watch the the playthrough that probably Matt and Liam from Super Best Friends did, if I had to guess. Because I know that game came out after they broke up that channel. Um, but I should watch it, because I'm sure it's cathartic. I just... <laughs> God. I can't talk much more about it without spoiling it for you, Barnabas, so I won't, but there's just so many moments where I'm like, what the fuck are you thinking, kid? Yeah, he's eight. Uh, I know that, but like... I just wasn't such an asshole when I was eight. Oh, but pal, your dad didn't die right before. I, I know that. I know that, and I, I can appreciate that. I get it. But it's like, if anything, if anything, after a traumatic loss of a family member, you'd think I'd be a, a bit more cooperative with, with the only person I've got left in my big brother. But no. He's not. <laughs> he's a bastard. He's a, he's a bad person. I'll say it. He's nine, and he's a bad person. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists. The Duelists of the Roses. Versus Yorkists. Okay. Alright. Funky little groove. Thanks, Apollo. <laughs> Super fitting for this little, this lovely little forest. I'm all about it. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet, by the way. I have a, I'm bad at judging how that's reading for you guys. Um, I never played any Yu-Gi-Oh games. Yes, that's the plan. Um, I'm kind of playing Life is Strange One in the in preparation for Double Exposure in October. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. I played True Colors when it released back in 2021. Crazy that it was three years ago. Oh, that's disgusting. Does he though? Does Daniel? I think he's just a child. Does he? I'd give him more more slack if that were the case, but I don't remember reading that. Maybe I forgot. Uh, True Colors. Well, I streamed it in three parts, I think, and they were longer parts. Probably like 12 to 15 hours, if I had to guess. Um, and then there's a bonus DLC that was like about four or five hours, so. And it's a fun DLC. I'd recommend it. Hi, Flynn. <clears throat> um, what's up, Daisy? You got it. Thank you. Um, is that uh, suitable for a boss fight? It did. It did, because it was my first year like doing this full-time. And that was like... I remember saying, yo, if people still give a shit about me in November when this game comes out, 
or whatever it was, September, I'll play it, but I doubt anyone will still be watching me. Um, I lacked confidence. Um, is Alex a better protagonist than Max? Um, you know, I don't know if she is a better protagonist, but, like, I like Alex more than Max. That doesn't mean she's a better character. I feel like Max probably has a bit more flaws to her. Um, like, I don't really know what the worst thing I could say. Like, what's, what's the worst I could say about Alex? I don't really know. Um... She's generally good-natured, and so is Max, but Max has, like, Max is very judgmental, and she's kind of a snob, and, uh, she's not great at keeping in touch with people, you know? Right, so, there's a reason that, like, there's a reason to say that Max is the superior character, because she probably has a bit more going on, and more flaws. Not to say that having flaws inherently makes a character better, but there's probably a bit more meat there to, uh, dig into, you know? <clears throat> and Max, you know looks at and may, may even pick up someone's used pea stick and I don't think Alex would ever do that so um sorry yeah I, I'll try not to I kind of gave away true color stuff I wasn't thinking about it because I streamed it so it's like oh if you're in the stream you watch me stream it but obviously that's not true um only a handful of people saw me stream it <clears throat> um for a boss fight you got it I'll do it for Chaos Carriage. This Yu-Gi-Oh song might last me until then. It's like nine minutes, but I'm uh, I'm vibing with it. You should get around to it one of uh, this day, Chara. You'll really like it. Probably. I don't know. I don't. You know. I don't know you, but <laughs> like, you know, from your vibes in the chat, I feel like there's no reason you wouldn't like it. Um, I should heal. Um, you got things to do? Okay, I mean, it won't take that long. I, honestly, stop watching this and, and go play True Colors. Oh! Oh! Um, don't eat me, Jack. Is that how Titanic ended? I knew there was not enough room on the board, but I, I was also wondering about the food situation. Um, might be the alternate cut that I didn't see. Ah, don't eat me, Jack! Oh, thanks, Barnabas. It's one of my favorite streams. Even though it happened so long ago and I was still kind of getting my land legs for everything. Um, I just remember feeling so comfy and I just loved being on that journey. And like most people watching had not seen it and they were experiencing it for the first time with me. And we got to, you know, get a good hate into some of the characters or we got to, uh, you know, be fans of others. Have the same moments of surprise when things took a turn. So, yeah, really fun. As a series, that's one of my favorites I've ever done on stream. <clears throat> I know some people in Ultima were talking about good, uh, good pat vods. Um, I don't know about like the entirety of the project, but in terms of normal KH2, I love Disney Skate Adventure. That was a good one. Uh, if only Rapunzel. Too bad I'm not gonna do it because I'm Feral Kyrie right now. So I don't care. Wait! Oh, never mind. Um, KH1 speedrun truther, really? I feel like I'm probably so boring in those. And we had none to list. You guys, what, what's your favorite regular Pat VOD? Uh, God, they're all so bad. <laughs> How do we pick just one to raise above the others? Um, well, listen, I won't, I won't knock it. Um... I'm sure there's fun stuff happening in some of those speedruns. I think <laughs> my uh, my opinions on the speedruns are like, this is one of them in there where like, someone in chat's being really uncomfortable and like overbearing. And uh, I basically yell at them a little bit. <laughs> no one that's here anymore. Uh, so don't worry about it. No one in here has been bad. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even remember. <laughs> I was like, dude, could you just, <laughs> could you just stop? That was, like, on good pace, too. And I'm just getting distracted by this nonsense. You were there for it? I don't remember what exactly it was. It was something about, like, how they were commenting on, like, what messages the mods were deleting. And I was like, that's also, like, 
Like, don't do that either. <laughs> yeah. Just lots of questions while I was busy, was that what it was? Yeah. I don't mind getting a question when I'm in the middle of something, it happens all the time. But I think I made it pretty clear that specific stream, I was like, hey, you know, if I'm focused on this, I'm not going to be able to get right back to you on something. Was it that? AMAs? Was I too harsh? Was I being a bitch? I am even being a bitch. Sorry if so. Uh, who even knows Daisy? There's so... <laughs> not so many. I don't want to make it sound like I'm... You know, that most of this has been negative, because it's, it's truly the opposite. Um, some people are just overbearing, and then some people are inappropriate, and some people are both. Some people just have no chill or no... Uh, not good with the social cues about what's good to ask and at what times. Um, <laughs> never a bitch, maybe a bastard. Is it bastard below bitch in terms of severity? I don't know, what would I rather be known as? A bitch or a bastard? Right, okay, that's what I thought. It's been a while, so I kind of forgot like what the deal was, but... Yeah. You know what What it was as well, is that... I hate... <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anyone to feel bad if they've done this, but... I, I dislike... I don't like when the AMA is used for you to t just tell me something. You know what I mean? Because that's not what it's for. It's for you to ask a question. It's not for you to be like, did you know that Riku in KH1, if you clip into his texture, he has weird eyeballs? That's not a question. That's you telling me a thing. Right? That's cheating. You cheated. You used the uh, redemption and a sound drop to get my attention so you could tell me your dumb fun fact that I don't really care about. And sometimes the fun facts are cool, but sometimes they're, they're stupid. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying, like, the intent of it is, you know, get my attention so I can ask, uh, answer a question that you have. Not like, let me pile this theory onto you that I came up with. I know everyone has to hear it because I want attention. You know? Um, yeah, highlight the message. I'm, I'll be more likely to see it. Alright, our song's over. But Chaos Carriage is coming up, so... Isn't it? I don't really know. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Mo. That shouldn't really happen. It's supposed to be on a timer. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this extremely fucked up thing? Wouldn't that be fucked up? Uh, yeah. Yes. And that's it. I always just feel like, well, where do I go from there? <laughs> you know? You're just theory crafting at me. I, do you want my expert opinion? I don't know. Now I feel like I've been a bitch again. Whatever, it's fine. Everyone's fine. No one's in trouble. <clears throat> Okay. Did you know that Mickey is Demix is nobody? <laughs> About Abba being scold? Yeah, that sure is fucked up. What a fucked up little thing to say, you know? <coughs> Wait, is this not Chaos Carriage? Still? Am I going the wrong way? Is this where I came from? Is it? Yes. Um, should I be theory crafting on you instead? <laughs> I mean... Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm taken, so that's not going to fly. Kazoo! This place is beautiful. Whoa! It's so pretty. All right, let's see. This one. Okay, this one goes out to Nick. This was from the card from yesterday. Uh, the other option. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> yeah, hips don't lie. By Shakira. Oh, Nick didn't get it. Nick didn't get it, and it was for him. Wow. You know, we can do like 10 kazoos. Well, it's on a, I think, a half hour cooldown, so. Hoops don't lie. Uh, you know my favorite Shakira line? Um, be, be grateful that my breasts are small and humble so you don't confuse them for mountains. It's so Poetry. <laughs> this is my favorite. Love that shit. I feel that all the time. I'm like, good. you know what? It's a good thing that my breasts are so small and humble so that they're not confused for mountains. Um, is that an issue that a lot of people run into? 
Like, God. Another rough day at work, honey? Yeah. A bunch of people thought my boobs were mountains. But they're not. They're just boobs. They're not mountains. No? Is it just maybe? Okay. Maybe it's not as universal of a problem as I thought. Um, if I had to choose Life is Strange characters to be my party members in KH, well, unfortunately, in terms of KH, Daniel would be the most useful because he has, like, you know, um, telekinesis. Is that the right word? Levitation bullshit, yeah. Um, but the only other characters that have powers are Max and Alex. Um, and Alex would probably not be super useful in combat. Max could at least, you know, rewind time. Um, so, I guess Max. And then just, like, Hot Dog Man. <laughs> Max and Hot Dog Man. Those would be my picks. Um, maybe a guest appearance by Warren where he goes ape. And he beats the shit out of a certain character. But that's it. Um, yeah, Chloe does have feminine rage, so you give her the bat from before the storm. She could, uh, fuck some shit, shit up, so. <coughs> we must gird ourselves, by the way. We must gird ourselves. Alright, here is Chaos Carriage, after we swoop in into this, right? Rapunzel? You gotta be fucking kidding me. No! How? Oh. Why? I swung across two times. Oh! Well, I'm gonna at least turn the music back on for now. Um, so what the fuck? What do I do? Do I have to leave? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Play the song now with her puns and dancing. Okay. Let me get back up. Did she rejoin us? Okay, maybe she'll do it this time. Sorry if I ruined a Daisy if she's not going to do her dance. Although I would prefer that the game works. Maybe she will. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Sorry. But I'll turn the music back down. <laughs> We're going to miss out on Rapunzel dancing to it. <clears throat> Woo! Here we go, baby. Um, Daisy's message. Where is that? Oop! Hold on, Buckaroo. How long ago was this? Have I have I passed it? There it is. Sly Cooper 2! Nightclub theme! Alright. I have heard this one, although I'm not sure if I remember it that fondly or that well. Maybe once it gets in- Oh, yeah! This one! No, I love this one! So I gotta fix my chat. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh! Getting my ass beat in the QRTs! Hell yeah. Look how it slaps its jaunty little ass just to enrage you. Another of God's little wonders. <laughs> Sometimes I just say things. Honestly, Nick, I respect that a lot. I said something similar to that, and everyone on chat got on my case about it. It was like, uh... <clears throat> oh, it was... Fuck. Um, I took my, uh... My GERD pill with alcohol. Like, I used alcohol to wash it down. And I called it one of like a, a little moment in God's beautiful tapestry or something and everyone got mad at me and they were like that's not what that is Pat that's not a beautiful little moment in God's grand tapestry and uh I don't know I stand by it and I was like hey, it was just the one time I just did it this once they're like it's not beautiful it is <laughs> There's something, there's something so poetic about that. Bow, bow, bow. I can't believe we got to go ape anyway, even though I told Warren I didn't want to. We gotta go ape, Max! Ape, ape, ape! Yeah, what do they know? 
Good shit. How about how the Power Wilds have little nuts to throw at you now? That's crazy. They've evolved since Cage One. And they can now use weapons. That's. 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 Wait, that's. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe we need to lock in. <sighs> Not doing too well. Do you think Warren likes the new Planet of the Apes movies, or does he hate them because they have CGI? I don't think Warren cares. I think Warren just wants to go ape. That's uh, that's his like primary function. Wow. Yep, I'm gaming now. It's gaming time. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 Goofy is fucking this thing right on up. Oh wait, I should probably switch to a uh, favorite deputy. Totally forgot I had that. Please work! Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's just shot lock heal. What's up, T-Mac? Alright, let's see what we got here. Final Fantasy VII Remake? Stamp theme? Oh. Oh, man. Is this a cover? What is this? Why is this the thumbnail? <laughs> <clears throat> Global theme. I love the Bow Wow Wow song from Rebirth. This is like the chill version. Was this in Remake and I just didn't know? I guess it was, huh? Oh yeah, it's four years ago. <clears throat> Who's not a bad person, just boring as hell? Warren? No, Warren's not a bad person. He just has bad qualities that you'll probably, hopefully, grow out of. Um... There's a there's a character in Before the Storm that's basically all of the worst Warren qualities played straight, and um, he's not nearly as interesting, I have to say. So there's something to be said for that. Yeah, Warren can grow up. I guess so can the kid in Before the Storm, but he was a lot pushier and more aggro than Warren ever gets. I guess Warren does beat people up, but not the the women that you play as, you know. Not that the kid in BTS does. But he gets aggro. Uh, no, Daniel is irredeemable. If Daniel's gonna turn on his brother that easily, then how, how can anyone ever trust him? Have you ever beat someone up, Nick? Is that is that for real? For real? I've never I've never beaten someone up nor been beat up. Believe it or not. Can I get the version of this that's faster? I feel like that'd be good for this. <clears throat> That's my preferred version of the stamp song. No? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Listen, it's your dollar. <laughs> Please work. Uh, I agree, Barnabas. You got it, almost Orbit. Also, yeah, you ever just pop your pussy to Shinra propaganda? Because I do. All the time. It's like... I like to think that I'd be above something like this if it were in real life, but if Amazon had like a cute little dog mascot and it had a banger theme song, then uh, yeah, I might have to, uh, what's up Fruit Tune? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Did I say something? <laughs> I don't remember even what I said, so. Um, I have a letter. Oh shit, finally? Fruitune has been waiting a long time to get the Presto pin that I sent, what, a month ago? I thought it was something about- I thought you were upset that I was popping my pussy to Shinra propaganda. That's what I said. Um, wonder who it's from- wow, I suck. Try this again. Come on, Stamp. The spirit of Stamp compels you. I'm 
I'm locking in for real. Mow wow wow, mow wow wow. Mow wow wow, mow wow wow. Is he always kicking bad guy butt? Is that what they're saying? Oh shit. He's a good boy who never stops. I never read into the lyrics. I have the Rebirth version of this in my top 100 video game OST tracks. Oh! Oh, why am I so bad at the video game, huh? This is like the end credits to Stamp, you know? <clears throat> I had a remake track too. I think it was, um, do, do Recompense? Is that what it is? Is that what it's called? I gotta see now that it's gonna bother me. In the meantime, Coastal Del Sol. FF7 OG. Um, bow, bow, bow. let me find my playlist. This would be fitting for Chaos Carriage Fight. Bow, bow, bow. What was the remake track that I put on my list? Boom, boom, boom. boom. Oh, it, yeah, I do recompense. I love that one. Don't ask me how it goes. Um,. I can't think of it because something else is playing, but... Yes! I'm glad! I'm glad he got there safe! Hell yeah! Maybe there's still hope for Allie, even though Allie lives way closer to me than you do, so... But with that, almost everybody has it. I think Allie might be the last, which is crazy. Man, I suck. I think hers got lost, and that's just such a shame. How does that even happen, hmm? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, because Nick's in Canada. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I don't know, for some reason I thought you got yours. No, the Australians. The one Australian, actually, it got theirs, but... Swedish. Netherlands. UK. But not Canada. I've gotten worse and worse at this each time I've attempted it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, yeah. My bad, my bad. <clears throat> but like, I paid for that. That's a service I paid for. So what, I'm just gambling that you don't get it? You know? What if it was something really, really important? Really, really important! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, do recompense is the one that goes wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm talking about? You're like in the underground part right before Wall Market. Love that. The Mounties have it. Unlike your mail, which can be delivered by a Roomba. Brother. By a milk drone. Remember when milk drones were supposedly going to be a thing? A drone that would deliver milk? Where'd that go? They Is that a thing? Is that happening? People getting their, their drone milk? Who up milk and they drones? All right, I'm listening to Do Recompense. Oh, started in the middle because I was already listening to it. Yeah. Oh! I'm glad my breasts are small so they aren't confused for milk drones. <laughs> Same here. God. <clears throat> I had to get a reduction because they kept getting confused for milk drones. It was hard to leave the house without, you know, wandering eyes. Luckily, there's no more confusion. Oh! This is the run, by the way because I'm locked in now.
Alright. This battle doesn't really get more difficult, it just keeps going, you know? This is due recompense. What's up, Neosai? I was just talking, well not just, but earlier on in the stream I was talking about the combo that we had. Um, once again, it was really fun. I felt very in my element, so... Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> I've been sitting like a degenerate this whole stream, by the way. Like, my left foot is propped up onto my desk. I'm just like, man, why is my why is my back hurt? Why, am I, why do I feel uncomfy today? It's because you sit like a fucking moron <laughs> all the time. Um, yeah, I, I get a foot cushion. Like, I'm not really sitting on my butt. I'm like sitting on my lower back. Um, it's really just bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, I'm such an ally. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> is that really a thing? I always see that as a meme, but like, is it just a meme or is there anything to that? Um, no, I know it's not good for my back. I do a lot of things that aren't good for me. Like, use Twitter. Um. Me. Like, I remember seeing a tweet that was like, bisexuals can't sit in a chair normally. That can't be true. It's a meme and thing. Yeah, like, I, I'm not sitting like a human. I'm sitting like a little sewer troll. Alright. What would be a good track for frolicking down, as Ava called it? Big Hill. Big Hill. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, by the only Sonic track in my... Right, no, that's not true. There's two Sonic tracks. It's that, and um, I like Lava Reef Zone from Sonic and Knuckles. A game that I've never played, but I like the song. Yeah, baby! Everything's fruit snacks and sunshine! Woo! It's like you're a kid again. Listen to this shit. Rooftop run. Big heel. Sorry, Rapunzel. I'm not doing that shit. Yes, we're on a timetable. We got very important business in the in the kingdom. Yeah. This is what the internet was made for. Yeah. Oh man, frame rate. Frame rate. Kyrie's Extreme Skate Adventure, baby. Oh yeah, that was perfect for that. Liked that a lot. <laughs> Next boss fight. Can I use it on the Reapers potentially in uh, the kingdom? Should I wait until Mother Gothel? I think it's going to be the very next thing that we do is the Reapers. Which, if you picked Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult, that'd be crazy. And also, I couldn't play it. Also, did you like those those cricket cracks? Okay, wait until Gothel. You got it. Wow. Sure is a busy place. Oh, wait. We got to do Sunshine Dance. I, I lied. I'm a liar. All right. What could I dance to for the Sunshine Dance? Ooh, I love Gloam Valley. Also in my top 100. All these tracks I'm playing are in my top 100. Wait, that's Organization 13. <laughs> Wrong one. It's for the last princess. We talked about this before, but like, would you recognize yourself as a baby? Because Rapunzel's going to recognize herself as a baby later, and that's like how she puts all the pieces together, I think. 
I would never be able to do that. I think all babies look the same. Uh oh. oh. I thought I was stuck. <laughs> this is really funny. I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spin. Why is X not working? What's wrong with you? I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Fuck it up, Kyrie! Oh, hell yeah! Uh, Loki Matt, what's up? Thank you for the follow. I've, I've seen you around on the YouTube streets. Hope you're doing well. Um, what button am I- <laughs> Is it because I'm on PC? What color? coordinates okay x is green okay x is green and so okay it says x is step but that's actually square i might be having trouble with this um okay circle is still red damn it whatever it's fine it's it's all good all right so oh, shit okay <laughs> Green is X. That's all I gotta remember. Oh. Do you think it's so fun? Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, wait, 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 no, but blue is square. Okay, all right, we got this. Right, right, right. What a topsy-turvy fucking world I found myself in. Do, do, do. X, god damn it. <laughs> oh no, I'm all out of music. Keep dancing. All right, Sunwheel. Sunwheel, I'm good. Floro Sapiens Caverns? Yeah, why not? Another banger, Super Paper Mario track. <laughs> not fitting for this, but... <laughs> oh, this part's kind of good. It's got some of that Irish jig quality to it. All right, let's finish. Okay, now is Reapers. A good dance break, though. Sometimes you just need that. Ooh, Bouncerama. Fuck, that's in there. I think... Listen, that's my top 100 favorite songs, but if we're talking songs that make me a happy little guy, then yeah, Bouncerama, KH3. Whew. That would have been perfect for the dance, but I biffed it. Alright, what would be good for the Reapers? Because I'm saving what Daisy sent until Mother Gothel. <clears throat> um, how about... See, most of my most of my tracks in my top 100 are, like, kind of more vibes than, like, action. Um, oh, maybe we have something right now. What's this? Uh, thanks, T-Mac. What's this? Tasmania for the Game Gear. It's 40 seconds. Can I do it in 40 seconds? Let's see. Something special. Team Mac, does it happen to be this for 40 seconds? Getting the, getting the impression that that might be the case. Cool, this sounds like having this sounds like having a tooth get filled feels. Yeah. Alright, thanks thanks so much for that T Mac. I'll put that under uh listen again later. Um let's see. How about Song of Storms? Can't go wrong with that. Probably better for Caribbean, but you know.
This is the Smash Bros. Brawl version. This is a really cool set piece, by the way. I always forget that this happens when I think about Corona, but I love the that there's like a sequence of gameplay during the lantern part. It'd be really cool if it was like an airborne kind of battle and the lanterns were like physically closer to you, but this is pretty neat. Um, <laughs> uh, wait, what is this, Dmac? What is this? Uh, I was watching one of my favorite guys react to the recent Nintendo Direct, and in the middle he was like, Have you ever heard the Tasmania Game Gear soundtrack? It's fucking awful. Gotcha, so that's why you <laughs> went and pulled that. Uh, Alright, thank you, Barnabas. Actually, we'll just switch over to that. I don't need to hear my own shit. What's this? Yo, mean bean machine. Let's go. Sometimes I wake up, I, I feel like a mean bean myself. Good shit. God, this is a puzzle game. Why is it going so hard? What the fuck is going on? It's about lining up beans. It's way too intense. Did I misread this? Is this not the game where you line up the beans? It was two player versus, I see. Fuck. I never heard this. I played Mean Bean Machine on the, uh, what is it? The Gems Collection or the Mega Collection on GameCube? But never, uh, never the two player versus mode. Can never find anyone to, to match beans with me. One of my biggest regrets. Is Mean Bean Machine canon? <laughs> the canon of the Sonic uh, universe? <laughs> Who up matching they beans? Because <laughs> um, doesn't like uh, the box art for Mean Bean Machine have the character from the TV show on it? I feel like it's incongruous with the uh, main Sonic lore. It's referenced in Sonic Mania? Oh, okay. Remember that time where Robotnik had to sort all of his beans? I remember. Bye, see you, T-Mac. Oh shit, I'm bonking myself. Holy fuck. Alright, now we need music for running back to the tower. Um, and then I'll play Daisies for Gothel. A lot of cutscenes, wow. <clears throat> All right, what's good running to the tower music? <laughs> Let's see, hmm. Oh, that came from Barnabas's top 100 playlist, that's cool. Um, how about, oh, that's Song of Storms again. I could just turn on the fucking music that's in the game, but why do that when you can listen to um, Digital Devil Saga 2 Hunting Betrayal? I've also not played this game, but I think it's pretty fucking cool. I remember hearing this song when I was in like middle school. I had no idea what it was from, but I was like, this is my shit. It's got a kind of like heist vibe to it. Like we're, we're planning for a big heist. <clears throat> Maybe I like this game. I mean, I like Persona. Is this not a Shin Megami Tensai game? Or something adjacent to it? I could be full of shit. Gotcha, gotcha. The Digital Devil Saga. Hmm, I think after Gothel, I'm gonna go back to the Coliseum and see if I can... Well, then again, I don't know what level I am.
Meow, meow. I guess we'll fight these puffballs and whatnot to the song. Um, it is from Digital Devil Saga 2, apparently. Please work, please work! Well, that was easy. Alright. Let's see. Where's Daisy's other one? Get stabbed, idiot. Nights into dreams. Wow, okay. The tower. Sora, the tower, you dumb fuck. I know, God, jeez. So what level am I now? 18? Yeah, so not quite 35. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh well. Yeah, man. Here we go. I rented Nights into Dreams for Wii back in the day, and I was like, God, I hate this. I want to like it. But, this sounds pretty fun so far. Eighteen, thirty-five levels. You know, they're just a suggestion. We can do it. We'll beat the Hercules Cup. Yeah, canonically, the little lizard is responsible for... Would you consider that just first-degree murder? Manslaughter? Like, I tripped her. I didn't know she was going to fall out the window and die. I mean, she was going to die anyway, right? She was dying of old age. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. Birdaga. Um, this is fun. I like this. Yeah, imagine the Geico Gecko saving you 50% or more on life insurance by murdering you. Killing a person is okay if they're old. <laughs> no, I was just saying she was already rapidly turning to dust. She was going to die within a few seconds anyway. This might have been a cleaner death. In fact, wait, no. She died before she even hit the floor. So, she, he didn't do anything wrong. You know? Yeah, god, this is a this is a slapper. Maybe I would have uh, gritted my teeth through the rest of the game had I known the whole game was going to sound like this. Get him, Goof! Fuck him up, Goof! Give me your energy. Slurp, slurp. Delicious health. Just a little bit more, please. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Yeah, just stay locked onto that, please. Um, any other suggestions? I thought I'd be done with this boss by the end of the track. what I can do. I like that. This is also a music critique stream. No, 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 no. No more DDS. Snake Eater would be great. Um, bum, 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 bum. Speaking of, though. Yeah. Yeah. Bum, bum. Does it fit? Not really. But I love this. Oh no! I am being bound! Ah. Rapunzel. Oh wait, I already made that joke once. <laughs> I was in the Cage 3 highlights, I remember, because my editor at the time sent me that. 
Rapunzel, I'm trying to sneak up on the birds. Ah, fuck! Boom, boom. Oh. Come on. Oh, oh! No, 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 no. We've come so far. Oh, thanks, Donald. Now I'm all focusless. Yeah, man. Get off the tower. You just gonna stay up here? Well, I've never killed uh, Grim Guardianess while I was grabbing onto the tower, so that's new. <laughs> I'm still in a dream, dream eater. Dream eater. Don't Classic. Stay with me, Eugene. God, remember? I mean. I remember when I was playing this for the first time, and I was like, who the fuck is Eugene? What are you talking about? Is this an in-joke that you guys didn't tell me about? What's, who is Eugene? I was so mad. <laughs> so annoying. Ever after. There you go, got the trophy as well. Fun fact I learned on crit level 1. If you activate counter shield, you can use the chariot finisher to negate when she climbs the tower and tries to trap and bomb you. Oh. Because the fun quirk of the chariot is that it hones in on the nearest enemies to attack, which means the boss. I had no idea. I bet that's probably implemented... Well, maybe. I was going to say in a speedrun, but there might be quicker ways to deal with it. But that's still useful knowledge. At least that fucking form change is good for something. So who is Eugene? <laughs> yeah. I'm like a scorned lover. What is this? The final scene with Rapunzel and the gang at the base of the tower is so bad. Um, what's What exactly is wrong with it? Is it because, like... I always did think it was weird that uh, Sora and Maximus have, like, this camaraderie out of nowhere. It's like, what? What? They've never... I mean, they've met, but... They've never, like... Sora's never spoken to the horse. You don't like that Pascal uh, tongues Flynn in the ear? I think it's kind of funny. Um, I can't believe you're going to meet your real family. I know. Like, what? <laughs> I guess. I mean... I guess, uh, let's compare it to, like, an end-of-world end scene from a different world. Like, uh... How do we feel about the ending of Arendelle, for example? I guess they don't really linger on it that long. They just, uh... On, a, on Thaw's... Wait, is it Thaw or Unthaw? I think it's just Thaw. She thaws out. Maybe they're synonymous. Um, and they're just like, it's the power of love! That's the power of love! And then the world ends. So yeah, not really a bunch of awkward chit-chat, yeah. Uh, what about the ending of Monstropolis? They're like, hey, we're, we're leaving! Okay, bye! We'll call you if we need you to kill more guys! And that's kind of it. Yeah, I guess, they, I guess they really do linger there in Corona. And they linger a bit in Toy Box, don't they? Um... But they're not making, like, awkward small talk. I'd have to go back and watch the scene, because I don't really have strong feelings about it. It never really stuck out as bad to me, but maybe I just was not paying a ton of attention. Um, I want to go back to the Coliseum and see... I don't know. I find myself, like, my interest with proceeding through the campaign is kind of waning. Like, I don't know if this is going to be something that we really uh, continue on till the very end. Like, it's fun, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's just Cage 3 again. It, it, it's kind of just easier, because I feel like Kyrie has been easier to play as. Not not play as, but, like, she just does better. She does good damage, even on critical. I thought her play style would lend to it being a bit trickier, but... I, I mean, I've died, but not more than I have on some other challenge runs. Um, I guess I'll turn the music back up. Yeah, that... I could, but, you know, I'd rather not. Um, oh, I didn't even see the first time. Caleb is in here. Caleb did the plaque and the trophies. Caleb did, uh, and Slosh is doing the KH3 Traverse Town mod. Oh, and Critic's in here as well. How did I miss these names the first time? I was just looking for the voice lines. But, uh, that's awesome. Cool. Um... All right, ready for the games? I'm ready for the games. Let me just see. 
Well, the thing is, I could start from anywhere. If I beat the last match, is that it? Like, will it color the bar green? I'm just curious. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll switch over to the Terra mod. I don't know. This is really cool. I'm not trying to knock this. Just in terms of like the you know long longevity of uh, of a playthrough, you know we've we've kind of gotten the gist of it. Oh okay. I might not get the trophy if I just do this. Well, I'm gonna bully Vanitas really bad right now. It seems like all the people in like the humanoid like similar weight class are just bullyable as Kyrie. It must be the way that her hits register, revenge value-wise, but there is uh, there is no challenge <laughs> when uh, when it comes to these types of fights, so... Um, yeah. I might just cheat and see what the other replacements are in the other cups, and then, you know, fuck around a little bit, but then we might call it on the, the Kyrie run. I don't know. I've liked it. Um... But I, I feel like I, uh, ironically, I require more motiv motivation. And I don't quite have that. You know, I played KH three on stream at least three times. <clears throat> I need I need a bit more of a wrinkle. Besides a uh, different character. But if the Terra one adds new Keyblades and form changes and shit, that could be the move. Or maybe just not even commit to a whole playthrough. Just like, hey, we're gonna fuck around with this particular mod today. I've kind of been at a loss recently as to what to do KH-wise on stream because I've gone through every game at least once and some of them twice or three times. I want to keep, like, and I, I genuinely enjoy playing KH every time, but my interest does wane a bit more on other games, on certain games when there's not as much of a wrinkle. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it could be... Could be time to go back to the rando well. <clears throat> God, it's just so sad. Sorry, Benitas. Get good. Oh, victory line? Yeah, that's neat. Woo! Yeah, so I wonder if I get the trophy. I mean, I did it in two minutes. I see the trophy. Let's see if it shows up on the... Oh. <laughs> I basically cheesed it. I broke it. Let's fight the last fight. Which, because of how Kyrie works on some of these bosses, makes it easier than... Uh... Yep, it's there. <laughs> makes it easier than a lot of the mob fights, because I can't just bully the mobs. Alright, so let's see. Let's cheat and see what's going on with the Hades Cup. Um, so we know that the Catastrochorus is the um, Behemoth. So what do they do for Cerberus? This should be around where that is. Yeah, so... Um, I definitely think maybe just do it as a one-off with the Cups. There's a mod you can use to unlock every item and you can buy each Keyblade, which will then turn into the respective new Keyblade for Terra. So you could do that to steal the new Keyblades into the Cups. Yeah, I'm into that. Um... No, I don't, I don't have to stick to Cage for mainstreams, but I feel like that's the best way to maintain, you know, visibility for people. Um, I feel like people... What the fuck is a warlock? Am I missing something? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is a warlock? Oh, Skull for Cerberus? Fuck. I'm gonna jump into this because I don't know what a warlock is. Why can't I think of it? Let me see it. Let me see. <laughs> it's like a mask witch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're like little little liches. <laughs> These little liches. That's so weird. Did they literally just take the lich and like scale it down and recolor it? Um can I rank the four gods who are watching the match? Well, I really only know Zeus, and I guess I know Hermes a bit from the movie. So probably Zeus, Hermes, I guess Athena, Apollo. At least Athena has a little owl. That's something. 
Um, if I die on this again, I'll, I'll quit out. But I'm just like... I'm tickled by the Warlock. Oh god, yeah. I, I cannot handle these higher level encounters right now. Um, okay, so Warlocks. I wonder what they're replacing in the OG KH1 Cup. Um... Uh, sorry! Sorry, yeah, Owls and Apollo both represented through the gods. Um, but they don't do anything. They're not, they're not giving. Are they standing up there right now? No. Um, okay, let's... Let's cheat more. Um, so then we had Skull for Cerberus. Um, I guess the only other unique thing would be Hades and the Rock Titan, right? Because Cloud Leon should be... Uh, Dark Riku and Marluxia. Mm, yep. Alright, so then... Uh, Infernal? What's an Infernal? Okay, Ansem for Hades. And then... Oh, the Popcats were the White Mushrooms. I think the Demon Towers are replacing the Stealth Snake. Um, Alright, and then Rock Titan is... Oh, Tornado Titan, okay. Interesting. Well, I gotta see what the fuck an Infernal is. I'm trying to think of what that could be a retexture of. <coughs> oh, hell yeah. The mood lighting. What have we here? Oh, it's Dark Inferno. No shit. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I can't even really lock onto it. Hello? It's focusing on the... Maybe I have to kill the demon tower first. Well, I'm way too weak to do this in a reasonable amount of time, but... Wow, they just plopped two fucking little dark infernos in here. And you cannot attack them right out of the gate. You can, but it's really awkward. Wow. Wow. Jesus. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, now I want to see what they did with the KH2 cups. I'd be down to, to do the rest of the cups legit as, like, Terra or something else. Um, worse than sort of like a fucking around with KH3 mods era, you know? Well, well. All right, so what's up with 2? I don't remember where things are in 2, though. Wolf head? Oh, probably just the skull, mini skull guys. Chaos carriage is in there. Rapid fly? What the fuck is a rapid fly? Vapor flies are the things in uh, Caribbean. Um, rapid thrusters. Supreme smashers are in there. Rapid fly horde. Did they mean vapor fly? Oh, just more Lucian Lark C. Okay, it was uh, Leon and Yuffie, wasn't it? Was that what it was in Pain of Panic? I gotta see what these rapid flies are. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, I love this. I know I'm kind of, like, uh, just window shopping here and just checking these out kind of scatter shop, but I think these are <clears throat> really well done. Oh, they're, like, recolored vapor flies to look like rapid thrusters. Neat. Well, that's cool. Oh, and they got, uh, what is this song called? What Lies Beneath, or, uh, that's not that. It's something else. It's something similar to that. That's cool. All right, let me, uh, check out the other ones. I keep finding these, like, new recolor enemies, and I'm like, what the hell? Uh, Cage 2, so Cerberus. I'm curious as to what, uh, P is in these. Although I don't know where you fight him. Alright, so that's Skull again. Mm. He's in here, isn't he? There's Vanitas. What was Vanitas 1 for 1 for? Cloud? No, he was oh, Hercules, of course. Okay. Uh, the Underdrum. Yeah, that was the that was the, the song. I don't think it's called that though. It's called something else. 
Zemnis? Is Pete Zemnis? <laughs> what do you usually fight at the end of Goddess of Fate? Isn't it Hades? Or no? I have no idea. Hercules? I'm all fucked up. Oh yeah, there's like a million of these. And by that I mean 50. Dark Inferno key at the end. Oh wait, was that- oh god, is that the- Jesus Christ. Oh, she on his Tifa? Four organization members at once? God damn. <clears throat> Maybe I will. What's up, Briny? <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and Xion's in Saix mode. Which is probably safer that way. Less dangerous. Well, that ain't for me right now, I tell you that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of workshop how I want to approach uh, doing more KH three mod stuff because I think a full playthrough it, it's just there's not enough quite enough there for it to stand on its own legs. But checking stuff out and just sort of fucking around, I'd be interested in doing that with like the Terra mod or a Roxas mod. Um, I just want to get a little smorgasbord of stuff, but. We might be putting, like, the, the dream of the full Kyrie run to bed, and I hope that's okay. Um, but I've still enjoyed both that and all of this here. And I would definitely like to tackle these more substantially. Maybe just mod it so that I'm, like, max level or I, I scale the enemies to me with that one setting here. And I can uh, tackle them in full. But we're going to bring it in for the landing here. Um, as I said up top, I will be... Streaming on Friday, uh, Life is Strange, 6 p.m. Uh, no stream tomorrow for 4th of July, as I said, the uh, probably the last one that we'll be having. Um, we'll see. Who knows? I'm uh, Nick, looking into Canada, so if you got, got any tips, any tips or tricks, besides uh, the mail doesn't come, you know, I'm all, all ears for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I had a fun time. I will see you on Friday if you're into Life is Strange. If not, then I'm going to be away for a little bit for regular GF's birthday. Um, so I'll try to let you know when I'm going to be back. I'm not sure. I'll probably be gone at least four or five days. But I'll, uh, I'll let you know on Friday. Um, that's fair. That's fair, Nick. Um, but yeah, be safe, be kind, be courteous. Take it easy. And uh, have a good night. Bye.